fucking cave divers. I, I, it's like, Jesus Christ. It's like, how bad are you at talking to women that you have to fucking cave dive? You know what I mean? Just so you have something to talk about or hopefully somebody talks about, hey, that's, uh, that's uh, Mikey Mikerson over there. You know, he, he does cave diving, you know? Like, women don't give a fuck about that. You know, if you cave dived and you, and you fucking found some buried treasure, you know, on a regular basis, then all the whores would come running. Um, God, it's so cynical. It's just really cynical tonight. I don't know why. Um, I saw a beautiful Ford F-250 today. The four-wheel drive. It was all white. I hate that they don't offer more colors in the F-250s. You know what I mean? Like the F-150s have all the fucking colors. But every one of those fucking trucks is four doors. I hate, I fucking hate a four-door pickup. It's so fucking, it's like a fucking giant station wagon. Except you don't have the cap on the back. Then you have that little stupid six-foot bed. What are you going to put, half an L-shaped couch back there? Like what the fuck is that for? You know what I mean? Get a four-door sedan or buy a fucking truck. I, I will go to my grave saying a fucking pickup truck is two doors with a bench seat and an eight-foot bed. You know? You know, unless you get older. You get older, then you get the fucking, the two-door with the bench seat and the six-foot bed. And then that's trucks for like hot rodders and then like old guys. That's the truck version of like the three-wheeled motorcycle. You ever see that? Some old hell's angel. He's going to ride till he dies, but now he's just, he's got fucking sciatic nerve issues going down both legs. So he's got to have like the fucking tripod thing. He rolls down the street. Hey, I used to ride on two wheels. Now I'm on three. That ratty fucking braided ponytail. You know, his fucking tattooed wife with her fucking skin damage. Still showing that tramp stamp. How about a shout out to women who still have tramp stamps, who didn't get them covered up, who aren't embarrassed that they came of age in the 90s, you know, who have the courage to have their tattoo let the world know that they backed into a lot of dick when Clinton was in office, you know? I respect that. Um, all right, let's do some reads here, some advertising. <laughs> oh, look who it is, everybody. Oh, it's Simply Safe. Simply safe, like riding a three-wheeled motorcycle. Those giant dumb fenders. Um, by the way, I thought like they ruled out those things. When they used to have the Honda ATC, they used to kill like fucking 20 kids in every town when I was growing up. Um, simply safe, everybody. You know, guys, you know, oh, I can't even read this. You guys know I love the break-in protection that my simply safe home security system gives me. Yeah, I got one of the cameras right on my cardboard fucking wall. Um, but it's not always outside forces that you need Simply Safe protection from. Meet Amy. Amy, what the fuck happened to you? Did someone break in that was related to you? Why do you need cameras inside your fucking house? Meet Amy, a Simply Safe customer and a chronic sleepwalker. <laughs> Who lives near a four-lane highway? Holy shit. Did, was she aware of her fucking problem before she fucking signed that lease? Jesus Christ. I'm suicidal. I just bought a penthouse fucking apartment. Um, one night a few months ago, she slept, walked out of her bedroom, and then continued right out the front door. Wait a minute. Did she unlock the door? At what point are you awake? That is a dangerous situation, dude. Have you ever fucking dated a chick that sleepwalks? That's going to be the scariest thing, scariest thing ever. It's like you're dating that chick from the ring. Um, anyways, oh, here's the, here's the most obvious sentence of copy I've ever read. That, that is a dangerous situation. She could have been heading for a big accident. Can you imagine driving down the street? You're fucking half asleep after we're going to double shift. Some fucking white chick comes out and her fucking... Dressed like Ebenezer, you know? You know that long shirt people used to walk with that fucking hat, just walking barefoot, muttering to herself? Um, I want to say there was a horror movie that started like that. Anyway, she could have been heading for a big accident. Luckily, as she walked out of her house, the Simply Safe entry sensor on her front door triggered the 95 dB decibel siren 
in the base station. That is loud. Goddamn right it is. Loud enough, in fact, to wake her up before she wandered into the street or some other trouble. Oh, my God, this poor woman. How the fuck do you go to sleep after that? You wake up to an air raid siren standing in the shrubs. <laughs> hey, Amy, you're looking a little tired this morning. Uh, seconds later, Amy even got a call from Simply Safe checking to make sure that everything was okay. Amy was a little groggy. I believe she was probably two glasses of wine in before she had that fucking phone call. But she was just fine. Amy actually says that on that sleepy night, Simply Safe saved her life. Well, good for them. Protecting, jeez, uh, I would like fucking tie myself to the bed. Uh, protecting people is ways they never, protecting people in ways they never could imagine is just one of the reasons more than 4 million people use and love Simply Safe. If you have sleep apnea, does it set off that 95 decibel fucking alarm? You can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com slash burr. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. Dude, she should have like one of those fucking leashes, you know, back in the day when people would have their dogs in the backyard and they'd go running, running after you and they'd reach the end of their leash and get fucking yanked back by their neck. Uh, go to simplysafe.com slash burr, S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash burr. All right. And with that, that is the podcast here, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a fun one. I was in a stupid mood. Um, yes, leave the page. How many times am I going to click on this shit? Um, not all redheads are the spawn of the devil. Don't ever forget that, but I wouldn't trust us. All right.